What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a red data pad opening. So the reason I'm doing this is because once again we have another leaderboard that is for the ultimate calamity. Well, I mean the whatever it's called, an ultimate data pad. And I'm actually trying to go for the Algin now. So we've already got three of the tasks for the uh, calamity. So I need to do all these anyway. So we have 101 of these. We're going to open 90 because that's how many we need. Uh, here is what you can actually win. I don't think it's possible to win the like gold ones, the gold red data pads, but we'll see. Once I do this, we will open the ultimate data pad and hopefully we might even win a calamity from that. But I don't know. I, I really hope we do because getting the I could literally get the ultimate Algin today. Okay, so we've got nothing from this one. It, it was just regular tier. To be honest, I don't really think there's anything I want from this. I have plenty of the electric shock weapons. I don't even use any of the light ones and I have six of them. They are really like, they're probably the most built for one robot kind of weapons I've ever seen. Like with the subduer, you can use it on like any robot with heavy slots like the Curie. But with these electric shock, we shock weapons, unless you can teleport, you're pretty much screwed. Um, especially with how slow most robots are. So they only really work on the Shenlu, which is actually really annoying. Um, because they do do crazy damage. I tested it on the Dagon. And yeah, it was pretty OP, but you did end up dying really fast. Because you just couldn't get close enough to anyone. Okay, there we go. Is it just me, or are these drop rates actually really bad? We've just had all of them for the corrosion weapons, now that's all for the rust ones. And we haven't had a single, like, legendary um, drop yet. Last event, I got like three or four of the new weapons. Yeah, this is really weird. Okay, it seems a bit more even this time. Okay. This is genuinely quite bad this time. I can't believe the Tamer and that are all still in this chest. It's kind of crazy. Oh, these are really bad rewards. Look at that. We only get like two of them that are a thousand components. The rest are all 500 for nerfed weapons. That's kind of crazy. I don't know what the event chests will look like uh, next event. Because obviously it's their 10th anniversary. So hopefully we actually do get some useful stuff. I hope they do something that was kind of like the Serious Sam event. I don't know if you guys remember that. But you could win pretty much every special edition robot at the time. Uh, in that first most cheapest chest. So if they did something like that, that would be kind of nice. So far, I've been hearing rumors in the community that everyone, they're going to give everyone an ultimate Destria. Which, don't get me wrong, sounds like a good idea. But that just automatically takes away all of the value of it. And yeah, I don't really think that's a good idea for them to do. The ultimate stuff, as it said, it's supposed to be like the rarest and most like, um, like sought after edition of a robot. So if they just start giving them all the way, that really just wouldn't be good. Oh, finally a legendary. How long has that taken? This has genuinely been one of the worst ever drop rate chests I've ever. It's not even a chest anymore, is it? Oh. Oh, we got a Shifang. Probably one of the most common ones of the new weapons to get. The Feng Bao is impossible to get. I only have, I think three of them four of them including my noir one i have about eight shifangs now and so many limings i honestly need to start selling stuff because if i do get this ultimate out i'm gonna need like a billion silver to level it which i do have i have around a billion silver but it's just like i need to make sure i have enough for the second calamity as well uh, but yeah guys there we go that is all of the data pads honestly one of the most worst openings I've ever done. But yeah, we're at exactly 45,000. There's four more milestones for the leaderboard. 
So there we go. And I'll quickly take a look. Yeah, because there we go. Um, just random tasks here as well. Almost halfway to it. So we'll take a look at our components as well. Oh, somehow we got a random Ophian. Don't know how we managed that, but I mean, there we go. Right. Okay, so we almost got two of each of the, like, the rust machine guns and the corrosion ones and that. I can't be bothered to claim all these because it'll take ages. I just want to open that ultimate data pad. I'm trying not to get too excited to think that I could win the ultimate Algen today. All I have to do is win this and then that's GG's. I will be really mad if I win a Pulsar. Uh, an igniter would be amazing as well. And yeah, I guess the mender would be good. Although genuinely, I probably wouldn't even use it for ages. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can actually get. Please. Oh, it's a blaze. Was that even in there? Okay, I mean, it's good because I don't have one. But an igniter would have been so much better. But yeah, I guess I always have to start somewhere with getting weapons. If I can get like two of two of each at least, then they're actually usable for some builds. So now we have one blaze and one igniter. And it doesn't even show up in my prizes. But yeah, guys, there we go. I guess I'll just have to keep grinding out the leaderboards and seeing what we actually get along the way. But yeah, we should still get this ultimate algae and I'm actually going to try and get it, so... Let's take a look at the ultimate blaze. There we go. The reason these ultimate flames are so OP is because of the slowdown effect. I'm not going to level this because I'm not even at a billion silver. I'm currently broke. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this opening video. I am going to continue grinding to get the ultimate Aljun. I think that's going to be quite worth it. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.